Hi guys and welcome back to another YouTube video. As you'll have seen, I can't actually believe I'm saying this, but your girl went to the Superdrug Presents PR event on the first night and I got the biggest bag of goodies that I think I've ever received ever in my life. I'm going to go and get it and we're going to go through it together. Um, I do think there's a couple of non-cruelty free and vegan products in there so we're going to tally up I thought I thought it'd be fun if we could tally up together how many cruelty free items there are and how many non-cruelty free items there are and see what the difference is um but yeah without further ado let's go and get the bag oh, oh. oh my god can you believe how big this is it's so heavy after the event, um, I was going to get the tube back to the station, but it was just too heavy and I couldn't. I've had a little look at some of these because um, I couldn't contain myself and it was Friday when I went and it's now Monday. Happy bank holiday. Um, so I've had a look, but I don't know everything that's in here, so we're going to go through it together. Right, where do I start? In fact, I saw this um, when I was on the train. This is a bullet vibrator. Um, there were a couple of like sexual health and toy stands there. So we got one of these in my favorite color. I think this is scalp massager things. I don't know how long this video is gonna be by the way, but we'll We'll see. We've got some Colgate toothpaste, which I don't think they're cruelty free because they're a Unilever brand, I think. I'm almost sure. So I don't think they're cruelty free or vegan. We've got some Kiss eyelashes, which I've not heard of them before, but they, they did have a stand there. And I'm pretty sure she told me that they were cruelty free and vegan friendly. But there's no, there's no logo on that, so I'll have to double check that and get back to you on that one. Again, these aren't cruelty free or vegan, I'm almost 100% sure. Let's find out actually, let's just Google it right now. Oh, it is. All products are suitable for vegans and animal cruelty free. So they are vegan, amazing. Let's just double check Colgate while we're here. Yeah, no, Colgate's not cruelty free so we were right on that one what else have we got effin is that how you pronounce that i'm not sure i've not heard of them either but they are cruelty free and vegan so i'm looking forward to trying them it's a body polish oh i love me an exfoliator squeeze this out i think it's got one of them things on but i really love the packaging the packaging is very aesthetically pleasing uh fudge hairspray Again, I'm not actually too sure if they are. So apparently, fudge is cruelty free, but not vegan because some of them contain dairy, like butter or milk, which I can't imagine hairspray containing that. So we should be okay with that. Ooh, a tangle teaser. This is an exfoliating and massaging scalp brush. Uh, this is the me plus range from Superdrug and it's the caffeine eye cream so that is cruelty free and vegan and it will have the logos on it somewhere there you go we've got a nice foot nourishing sock pack and um, because it contains honey it's not vegan but it is cruelty free some wet wipes which i actually don't think these are cruelty free but they are biodegradable which is good for the environment l'oreal lv I call it gloss. What's that? It's like a glaze. I'm not too sure what that is. It's like a glazing treatment. Um, you leave it on for five minutes and then take it off. But unfortunately, L'Oreal isn't cruelty free or vegan. A Maybelline mascara. I know Rimmel London have recently gone cruelty free and vegan um, on most of their things. But I don't think Maybelline is. Let's double check. Yeah, no, not cruelty free, so 
I have to find that one a new home. Um, a Nivea lip oil. Now this one is misleading, so I don't know if you can see. Uh, on there it says vegan formula. So there's no, so it's a vegan formula, but they test on animals, so it's not cruelty free. So I um, don't know how I feel about that one. Ooh, perfume. This is from Superdrug's own brand. So this one will be vegan and cruelty free, as you can see on the logos. My sense of smell isn't that great, so I can never get into these bottles, right, without ripping them. I don't want to, like, keep the packaging all nice. I literally cannot open it. Is this a men's one? Do you because it's in a blue... I don't know if this is... That's quite nice. Oud Adventure. That's quite nice. Like that so far. So we have a perfume. That's nice. And it's vegan and cruelty free. I'm running out of space to put all this stuff. What's this? Pouch from Zadig and Voltaire perfumes. A Brushworks powder puff. Some more eyelashes from Milor, but these, I'm pretty sure that these are cruelty free and vegan. Yeah, all the law products are cruelty free and vegan friendly, if you're ever wondering. An e.l.f. stick, which again, all e.l.f. products are cruelty free and vegan friendly. And that looks like a gorgeous colour, so I'm excited to try that. I'm not sure, um, I've not heard of this brand before, but I did pop over to the stall and ask if they were cruelty free and vegan and I think that they are but she said they sell in China so I'll just give it a quick google yeah so they're not cruelty free according to cruelty free kitty which I 100% trust um, and they're not vegan so I'm going to find that one at home Burt's Bees what is it like a hand cream or something um, again because it's honey, I don't think that they're vegan. Okay, so Burt's Bees are 100% cruelty free, but not all of their products are vegan because again, some of them all contain honey. So as long as this one doesn't contain honey, I can keep this one myself. <laughs> Ooh, okay, more eyelashes. Purple whitening toothpaste from Superdrug. So they will be cruelty free and vegan, as you can see on the back. They always have cruelty free and vegan logos on their packaging. Okay, this is another misleading product. So got to be, I fell for their, I think it's for the yellow packaging for the eyebrows. Um, this seems the same, but it's a waterproof one. So it says vegan formula. But I'm pretty sure that they test on animals. No, it's not cruelty free and although it's a vegan formula, I will not be using this, so I'll be finding this one at home. I'm pretty sure they're not vegan friendly either. Uh, a Bioderma, I think it's like a micellar water kind of thing, yeah, um, they're not cruelty free or vegan, so I'm full of the, what is this? Hyaluronic Acid Cleanser, again, this is from Superdrug, so this is cruelty free and vegan friendly. A St. Moritz Tan. In the shade medium and they have the logos on the back of there so they are cruelty free and vegan friendly oh another perfume again from superdrug so we've got the logos on the back of there let's try and smell this one although it might take me about a whole day to get in this again the bottles are kind of cute aren't they why should we spray this one Oh, that one's quite nice too. Mm. Lovely, I'm going to be stacked up on perfumes for a while. Okay, so we've got some Schwarzkopf Pink Drops. They are not cruelty free or vegan. Makeup Revolution Translucent Powder. They are cruelty free and vegan friendly too. Oh, amazing. So we've got some Minar um, and Eyeliner, which 
if you've not heard of this brand they are relatively new and I actually spoke to someone while I was at the event um, on the stand so they're like I think she said they're like Spain's number one but over here they're not that well known but they have got the logo on the packaging so you can see so let's try that Avon Skin So Soft Dry Oil Spray I actually think that these are cruelty free now so that should be vegan at me again I just like to double check I don't know if you can hear that or not but they've just started gardening so hopefully it's not too loud but um vegan beauty girl if you don't follow her already she's amazing I love her um she says that Avon should be fully cruelty free by May 2024 and we're near the end of May so this should be vegan I hope and cruelty free a real techniques in sponge more samples from Superdrug here so we've got the age defy moisturizing cream and then the hydrating intense serum oh wow uh, another Elor eyelash kit which is pretty big so that must be expensive surely um, but yeah, I have to crack on with them, won't I? Oh my god! Oh my god! Um, I think this is my favourite freebie in the bag so far. I've actually been wanting this. Um, I love Ariana Grande's perfumes. I think they're lush. I've literally just run out of one and I can't remember for the life of me which one it is. But oh, Kurt got it me for Christmas, I think it was last year, or the year before. But her perfumes are cruelty free and vegan, so I know that this one is absolutely fine. I can't wait to smell this one, but I'm all out of areas to smell, but this is so exciting. What else have we got? Ooh, a Bayless and Harding body wash. Which again, you can see on the back that they are cruelty free and vegan friendly. Some star face strips. I love these. I've actually got the yellow ones um, to put over your nose and I love them. Ooh. Oh, That's really nice packaging from Maybelline for one of their mascaras. But again, unfortunately, they're not cruelty free or vegan. Oh, a naughty intensive care leave-in conditioner, which these are vegan and cruelty free. CeraVe, again, I don't think that these are vegan friendly. No, so CeraVe is not cruelty free or vegan friendly, unfortunately. Uh, Lano Lips, I, I've not heard of these before, but I went to the stall and they do have the cruelty free bunny on their packaging. Um, so it's on the back and on the front too, but they contain lanolin, which is from sheep's wool, so it's not vegan. I'm not too sure. This is what confuses me about if it's cruelty free, but it does contain something from an animal, so surely it's not, surely it's not cruelty free. I don't know. I'm not sure how I feel about that one. There's so much stuff in here. Okay. Um, a Morphe oil, again. They're not cruelty free or vegan friendly. I'll have to find a home for that one. A biotin hair scalp oil, which I didn't know, but I've just seen the logo that on here, that they're cruelty free and vegan friendly. So I'm excited to try this one. Oh, okay. Glaze Super Bond Repair Treatment. I think that they are vegan friendly and cruelty free. No. So, yes, all cruelty free and vegan friendly. Tell you what, I'm going to be stocked up on fake tan. Um, Centrope Express. So if you leave it on for one hour, it's light, two hours medium and three hours dark. So I'll be excited to try that one. I did see their new violet dark fake tan, which looked really nice. Okay, next up, we've got this Tresemme leave-in shine serum which seeing that they are cruelty free um but some of them some of their stuff contains um keratin and collagen which is which comes from animals so i don't know if this one is going to be vegan friendly i'll have to double check this 
and get back to you. Okay, it doesn't say whether or not this one's vegan friendly on their website. It just says it's cruelty free. So I'm gonna have to do some more digging about this one. Avon, a new skin renewal serum. Uh, again, this one's cruelty free, but I'm not too sure if it's vegan friendly. Emini Coca-Cola Lemon Zero. This is the same brand as earlier and it's a sheet mask. Yeah, I think I'll have to find out who for that one. Ooh. Ooh, okay. So Wild Deodorant have like a little travelling size balm and this one's in Jasmine and Mandarin Blossom. The packaging's really cute and I know for a fact that they are cruelty free and vegan friendly. <gasps> More tanning stuff. Um, we've got Tanologist Self Tanning Drops in the shade Medium. As you can see, I am a fake tan girly. So I am topped up. What else have I got? Ooh, okay. Uh, MUA Cosmetics Metamorphous Colour Changing Lip and Cheek Oil. These are 100% cruelty free and vegan friendly. Um, I love this brand so much. Then there's a Maybelline Tattoo Eyeliner in a really pale colour. Then we've got Simple uh, Face Wash. I didn't actually think that these were cruelty free and vegan, but they've got their little logo on there so that must have changed recently. I actually avoided their stand because I thought that they weren't vegan and now I wish I'd have just popped over. Okay so I saw this brand while I was at the stand and I tasted their electrolyte drink and it was actually really nice. A lot of electrolyte drinks are nasty but theirs was actually really nice and they sent some apple cider vinegar gummies to try and they are vegan friendly it says on the back and they're also suitable for celiacs too. A Milani setting spray I've heard really good things about this really good things so I'm excited to try this one again they are cruelty free and vegan friendly. A Rimmel London lip oil do you know what I'm actually really gutted about this because they have the cutest packaging ever but Machino I'm pretty sure they're not cruelty free. Things could have changed since I last checked, but let's have a quick look. What? It is? Apparently it might be. Okay, so their other bubblegum one is vegan, apparently. I did not know this. That's mad. So, if this is in the shape of a mini bear, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna lose it. Oh, stop it. How cute is that? Oh, that's quite nice too. Oh well, I'm buzzing now. I didn't realise that that was vegan or cruelty free. It seems like a lot of things have changed since I last checked. I'm impressed. We've got some more samples of perfume. So the Paco Rabanne Evictus, uh, Marc Jacobs Perfect. What else is in here? This bag is so huge, I don't want to miss anything. Ooh, what's this? A W7 lip oil, and they are cruelty free and vegan, which I'll just show you the logo that's on there too. Studio London lip gloss. Another sample of perfume. Oh my goodness. More. Super drug sample, so this one is Menopause Comfort Sleep Cream and this one is the Hyaluronic Acid Booster Jean-Paul Gaultier Limon sample I don't know what is in this, but let's find out Oh, it's a little mirror How cute is that? Ooh, kiss Some blemish stick samples Breakout proof sunscreen I'm not actually sure if that's vegan friendly or not. I've not heard of this brand before. Amazing. So they are cruelty free and vegan friendly. And then the last thing that's in here is two chubby chubby sticks. So that's cute. That is a lot of stuff but that's just what was in the gift bag for attending. Let me show you what I got as I was walking around. So as I was walking around We've got some more goodie bags. So this one is from Mallow's Beauty and I ended up speaking to the owner of the brand 
and she is lovely. She is so nice. Um, so she in this goodie bag we got a unicorn body butter, which let me show you this, right? Look at it. I feel like it's too pretty to use. Um she was saying that she'd only just started uh, selling in Superdrug over the past was it six to eight months or something. So if you do see this brand in there, I highly recommend just supporting a small business, um, supporting a, a female-owned business too, you know? A coffee body scrub. The packaging's so cute too. Oh yeah, that smells delicious. And then, I've actually already smelled this one right. And for me to be able to smell this and really like it is insane. This is the strawberry body butter and I feel like this is going to be my favourite. Like, it just smells like a dream. I could, I could just sniff this all day, I'm not even going to lie, but look at it. Like, I just want a big tub. Oh my god, Laura, if you could make candle that smells like this oh my god and you could get it so it'd be like all whipped the same the same as you do the body butter like a, a whipped candle oh my god I'd, I'd buy them all i would buy them all anyway that's my low beauty and then i also got one of these so these are the wristband things that you put on for when you're washing your face from bushworks i tried to go on the revolution dance mat while i was there so they gave me a free lip gloss for trying a bronzer from W7, which looks very, very similar to the Benefit Hula bronzer, the packaging anyway. Another lip gloss from Studio London, which this looks beautiful. That's all that's in that bag. And then I also stopped off at the Mino stand, which I was talking to another lady on there and she was lovely. But you've got one of these in there and basically you've got all the eyeliners in here. So if I just open this up, if I can, there we go. So we've got a green, a purple, kind of like a, a nudie stick and a brown one too. So that's very exciting to play with. And then also a black lipstick, which I'm not too sure how feel about this one but we might give it a go I then I popped over to the naughty stand and I was given one of these detox shampoos and she said to use it maybe once a week that's all just to give a good you know scrub Chupé gave me a body bronzer they had like a, a lucky dip stand and you popped in and that's what I want okay I also I mean I also had a lucky dip stand as well and I ended up picking the bronzing drops and another lipstick which I'm very excited to use. Okay Elf had a stall where they basically just had freebies for everybody so I've got four here. So there's the liquid putty poreless primer and then and also the same but in a little tub. Stay cool primer stick the good thing about this as well is they've all got vegan friendly and cruelty free logos on all of their little sample packs. And then the Power Grip Primer as well, which again, all the logos on the back. When I went over to the Allure stand, I won these goodies, so some more eyelashes and uh, the 7 day bond and remover, which is very exciting. Oh, there's another Minar shade here too. I won on the MUA. I think you just had to like throw something and knock all the boards down. So I picked picked up a, a cherry lip balm. There's another Lano Lips lip balm here too, um, which again I want on the spin the wheel. Another Milani setting spray, which I'm actually putting together a little pile of things to give away. Um, so I think because this is my second one, I'll put that in the pile. And then we also got given these which I don't know if they're vegan. Let's just double check. Oh, they are. <gasps> they are. It says on the balls. At the bottom. I didn't notice that earlier. So we've got a rosé and like a natural sparkling one as well. So I'll pop them in the fridge. 
But yeah, what a haul guys. I mean, bloody hell. I'm gonna need a whole set of drawers just to put all this stuff away. It's crazy. I hope you enjoyed watching this massive haul. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I honestly can't believe it. Little old me got all of this stuff. It's crazy. It's absolutely mental. But I'm gonna try and get through as much of it as I can and do reviews. There's a lot of stuff to get through. And it's good that I've a couple of the brands I've not actually heard of before. So especially this one. Um, they're cruelty free and vegan and I love like a, an exfoliator so I'm definitely going to pop this in the shower so I can use this next time. Yeah, so much stuff. I mean, it's crazy. I, I can't, like I can't quite believe it. But yeah, I am putting together a little competition bundle um, to give away to one of you amazing, amazing, amazing humans. I hope you enjoyed watching it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!